What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and uh, taking a break from Scream content on my main channel, I thought, well, let's just do this fun little Troy Baker thing on this channel, and Jesus Christ, it's definitely something quite interesting. So basically what ended up happening, we'll just cut right to the chase, Troy Baker aligned with an NFT company. Now that immediately, I think, is enough to get people pretty darn uh, you know, upset, and, and look, I still don't know enough about NFTs to truly to talk about their impact on energy or blockchain chain or anything like that but what i will say okay is i'm gonna read out troy's twitter post which i do think is actually quite uh, aggressive and I, I don't really like it at all and then i want to talk about the specific partner he partnered with and just kind of go off the top of my head of what i think this is coming from a newbie in the nft space but somebody who's trying to learn about it so i can talk about it here we go i'm partnering with voice verse nft to explore ways where together we might bring new tools to new creators to make new things and allow everyone a chance to own and invest in the ips they create we all have a story to tell you can hate or you can create what'll it be now what I hate about this is that ending. You can hate or you can create. So uh, now look, are there people that just are blatantly hating on NFTs and, and don't know what they're talking about? Sure, there are. And uh, or there, there are people that are you creating, a, what, what should we say? Let's go into like a scream terminology, toxic fandoms. Are there those people? Of course. But, you know, to label everybody and especially with such a hot topic like nfts right really nobody is liking them online right now at least okay and so when you tell people that you're just hating you're you, you don't even know about it you don't respect it you're just haters and and you're labeling everybody and that everybody by the way is a very big group it's a pretty stupid thing to do okay so that's I, you know, it doesn't surprise me that so, now I, I mean, well, up until this point, I like Troy. I felt like if there was somebody in this, you know, elite kind of, it's not really Hollywood elite. It's more like voice act, but there's still, it's like an entertainment elite kind of uh, cl uh, click that they all have, right? You know, if there was somebody that kind of stood out for being a little bit more open minded, Troy was one of them, but I, I don't really think that anymore. Now, what scares me, and again, I don't know enough about NFTs, so I'm just literally going to read these out and talk about it. Basically, what this company that he's endorsing is doing is this is an NFT for voices. So you can literally buy a voice, customize it, and you can use it for audiobooks, YouTube videos, e-learning lectures, or even podcasts all without the hassle of additional legal work. This will also allow people with limited resources to access professional grade voices more easily. They provide unlimited perpetual access to the underlying AI voice that the NFT represents ownership of. If you own a voice NFT, you can create all kinds of voice content. Uh, then they go into the metaverse, which very much scares me. It's a new way for you to communicate and build up your persona in metaverse worlds. You can look like anyone you want to in the metaverse, and now you can sound like the NFT uh, you're, you own. Imagine being able to talk in the voice of the character you were playing as as in a multiplayer game imagine the next level of immersive experience so that like okay to me i just got to be flat out honest with you the, the idea of this stupid metaverse thing is not right at all it's very bad i think it's it's going to be one of the most horrible things for society um we already as a society live in this echo chamber bubble that is called the internet people don't really have any life experience they just get all their knowledge from online and i'm not saying i'm i'm some special person no we all do it we all think we know everything and i guess we do have access to to knowledge online and we can learn uh quite a lot we can learn more than we ever could but Everybody gets everything from like Twitter or Facebook, or whatever, right? Very closed minded. Very, we already are living almost an alternate persona on those websites. Uh, imagine there, you can picture, right? Uh, like keyboard warriors, right? People that just kind of type behind their keyboard. They just insult people. And it's as easy as blocking other people. They can say whatever they want, right? So you don't have to be authentic. You don't have to be a real person. You're literally living behind your keyboard. You're living behind your computer. That's already, and that's bad. That's, a, I mean, that's, that's a bad thing. That's already what it is, okay? Now imagine this Facebook thing, right? Going into the metaverse. Now you, now they want you to live literally a different life. Like completely. They want you to give your life to them, which, I mean, Facebook already does a lot of stuff with, with your personal information. You go into this metaverse and you are a completely different person now. Now does that, sure, 
Is that cool? Like VR? Oh, yeah, sweet. Like I'm gonna get the PSVR, so maybe I'm a hypocrite. But I mean, I'm doing it to just experience games, to like go into Horizons World and play around in it, look around, pretend I'm somewhere I'm not. But then I take the headset off and guess what? I'm not actually there. This metaverse is not that. You're literally going in to like a recreated world and you're pretending to be somebody else. In fact, this stupid voice company admits that. Like the goal of metaverse is to be somebody else. And now not only can you be somebody else, but now you can change your voice. So if like I want to be Ghostface because all I can think about is Scream right now, I can just buy the voice of Roger L. Jackson. I can use it uh, and I can be that voice uh, online. I just don't, I don't also get how that helps creators or how it does it help voice actors because if you can buy the voices of anybody will you won't you not need them eventually like all you need to do is take so let's just use ghostface right roger l jackson does ghostface does mojo jojo and powerpuff girls let's use him if you take his voice and you buy it as an nft now you legally own his voice <laughs> i guess uh, kind of again maybe i'm not like all the way there yet but you own it you can use it however you want. So why can't Scream the or the Paramount, why can't they buy an NFT of his voice, use it for Scream 6, and fire him and just not pay him because they bought the NFT? So, so like, won't that put them out of business? Or like even Troy Baker himself, if I just use his voice, you'll never need him again because you'll have his voice. I don't know. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe... I'm not reading it right, or I haven't read enough about it to understand it, but, like, I don't know how this helps creators, literally, cre like, people that change their voice, that are able to, like, put on multiple acts, I don't know how that helps them, I only see how that hurts them, you could even do it with, like, a sponge, like, I guess it keeps them around, so, like, if they die, right, you can keep them around and, like, keep using their voice, I guess that makes sense, so, uh, maybe, but maybe you should just leave the dead dead, but, like, you know, I guess I could see it for that maybe a little, but I don't know. I just feel like you could just do this for, I don't know why the first thing I thought of was SpongeBob, but you could use his voice, you know, Tom Kenny, you could just use his voice, fire him. Why, why use him when he's in his sixties and seventies in real life when you just have his NFT? So I, I don't know. I don't know if that's actually right, but it doesn't seem good. And it just seems like, you know, whenever anybody brings in the metaverse, that's something I have a little bit more knowledge uh, or kind of understanding of. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan at all of becoming a different person online. People have already done that. It's ruined, I think, a large parts of society. It's ruined people in general. And now we're going all the way in because now you're literally going to give your entire body and your your mind, like you're literally going to you know, put it on and you're going to be transported somewhere else. And you can pretend to be anybody or anything that you want to be. Well, now you can use the, so now this is like just the missing part. Well, your voice still sounds the same. You're still Alex. Okay, well, now I can be whatever voice I want to be. Meanwhile, I can look like an alligator or, you know, whatever, whatever the stupid thing is. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure, as always, you guys are subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. And I hope to see you guys on tomorrow's video.